वेलकम टीचर्स इंट्रोडक्शन माय नेम इज देवग्रत मल्लिक एसिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ आर्ट्स एंड क्राफ्ट्स बोरेशल कैडेट कॉलेज लेसन इंट्रोडक्शन क्लास 7 सब्जेक्ट आर्ट्स एंड क्राफ्ट्स चैप्टर 2 लेसन 1 एंड 2 डेट 1st ऑफ जुलाई 2020 Hello, all of my dear cadets. Very good morning and have a good day. I hope you all are getting on well with your dear and near ones. Dear boys, you know Corona crisis is now on rise. Under such predicament, you should keep yourself aloof from meeting with outer world please make yourself confined within the walls of your own residence i would frequently like to ask you to follow the corona discipline and that is how you can certainly ensure your safe and sound dwelling free from corona let's now we go our lesson topic fine arts and crafts is the language of all people of all ages lesson one and lesson two learning outcomes after we have studied this chapter we will be able to learn that before civilization people used pictures to express their feelings explain how by using art or picture people all over the world can communicate well chapter 2 lesson 1 and 2 lesson 1 is start here starting from the primitive time from the cave age men have conquered the world in many different ways today man has reached a great height starting from now here man cannot be alive depending only on nature the main obstacle is the relationship human beings for survival and food Men had to overcome the catastrophe of nature and had to live in panic for the attack of the brutal and ferocious animals. To be free, they used to believe in magic. Due to different types of pictures on the mountain, wills, and faced those obstacles by getting united but the did why did people draw pictures okay my dear we'll now we'll now know the mystery behind this the cave of altamira cave picture it was the year 1879 in the northern part of spain a landlord named Shotola lived. His reasons were large. There were many mountains. In this place, he discovered a cave. He started digging the cave by thinking that he might find something valuable there. He thought might be the skeletons of primitive people and weapon made of stone. Eventually, he started to look for these things. His five years old daughter was with him. Of course, she did not know anything about it. She had come out by holding her father's hand on a short visit 
entering the cave, the father started to look for skeleton and weapons. But the little girl did not like that matter. Taking a candle in her hand, she started to moving around. Moving around at a point, suddenly her eyes were stuck at a place. Instantly, she started shouting, Daddy, bull, bull. Hearing her shouts, father came running, thinking a real bull was in the cave. No, not a real bull, but it was exactly like a bull. It's a picture of a bull. The discovery of the little girl became known to all. Famous scholars started to visit the cave Altamira. After that, for the next 16 years, she, the scholars engaged themselves in discussion about the picture of bull. They debated and also conducted researches. The first discovered picture drawn by the primitive people was 20,000 years old. Its existence was located in the monument, mountain caves of Spain, Altamira, France, Lamu, and Lasco. Men learned the art of drawing because of survival and living. They expressed their feelings by signs and gesture. Okay, my dear. Then in 1895, a new cave was discovered in Spain. Many different types of drawing and artwork were discovered on the walls of that cave. Who drew those pictures? Obviously, those people were from the primitive days. Those primitive people first started to express their thoughts by using pictures as a medium. Okay, my dear. Next, lesson number two. Many carving in the caves by primitive people were found in the countries such as France, Spain, and South Africa, etc. After many calculations, the scholars found that some of the pictures were probably 10,000 to 30,000 BC old. From this article, we have come to know that people could choose picture as the first medium to express their feelings. It, in today's world, there are many different countries and there are different types of people and again their languages are also different okay it is not possible for one person to learn all those languages but if pictures are drawn accordingly at accordingly according to the nature environment lifestyle of country I repeat here, my dear, but if pictures are drawn accordingly to the nature, environment, for lifestyle of a country, one can easily grasp information about that country. Suppose that on the occasion of a festival, 
in your country children from china japan and many other countries have gathered together it is possible to exchange greeting with one another but we will not be able to talk about our country environment etc because of our lack of understanding in different languages okay my dear if we draw pictures related to our countries environment nature life and culture the identity and features of every country are reflected there that is why by only the language of picture or arts and crafts we can easily understand the culture and natural environment of any nation in this world this is why art can be turned as the international language okay my dear cadets <clears throat> we'll go for question and question pattern now we'll start here question pattern question number one where is cape altamira answer is here that Altamira is in Spain. Question number two. Iron was the first picture drawn by primitive people. Question number two. First picture was drawn by primitive people 20,000 years ago. Question number three. Iron is Lamu and Lasco cave. Answer is here these are in france okay question number four what were chosen by the primitive people for drawing picture answer is here they choose by picture as the first medium to express their feelings question number five iron was a new cave discovered in spain answer is here a new cave was discovered in spain is 1809 19, 1895 i repeat here my dear a new cave was discovered in spain in 1895 okay my dear here is there some uh, homework or home task Give home tax is here. Give your opinion in 10 sentences that art is an international language. I repeat here give, a, give your opinion in 10 sentences that art is an international language. Okay, my dear beloved cadets, I hope all of you have understood the lesson and got my points so now i like to conclude here again i do repeat here please keep yourself confined your residence it will positive protect you from corona monas thanks everybody thank you all all the very best bye